Okay, now we want to take a look at a, a little more complicated of a, a shape. So again, we'll go to our Bob Art Manager, load image, and from here, we're going to grab this image here. This particular shape uh, has uh, some irregular uh, angles, a little more difficult. We can't really just draw a box for it. So again, we'll create our new layer. Uh, we'll make it active. Uh, in this example, I'm going to use line sketch, and I'm going to do sketch free. And I will sketch a line. And I'm just going to try to line it up uh, as close to this uh, shape as possible. Uh, actually, you could it, s sketch the one line here, and then you could do line parallel and choose drag, and this will allow you to drag out a parallel line to there. Uh, you could do, and we could repeat this process in other areas. We can do line sketch, and then line parallel, drag. Drag this down to here. Okay. Line sketch, sketch free. Drag, do line sketch, sketch free, line parallel, drag, drag this one over there, I think that one's a bend line, uh, line sketch, sketch free, line parallel, just repeating this process all the way around. Okay. Yeah, that one doesn't line up so good. So we might want to delete that line and do a line sketch, sketch free. Okay. I'll just follow that line there. Alright, now, uh, a couple of things. You know, if we were going to come through and, uh, let's say these are our bend lines, we could add a new layer, we'll call that number two, we'll select this one, this one, and again, to go to selection mode, in case if you're unaware, you can click up here on this arrow and choose selection mode, or you can right click and choose select. This will now allow you to select geometry, really the only purpose of doing this if you're not in a drawing function is to change the color or the style or the layer or maybe to modify that line's uh, 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 attributes. But we're going to grab these two, right click, modify attributes layer, we'll put this on number two, and we're going to go ahead and select them again, right click, modify attributes, line style, and we'll change them to dotted lines. Okay? Now, this particular line, you know, if I want to extend this line out, we do have a, a nice trim function where we can do trim screen, and we can click on this line and click out where we want it to go. Now notice that I was particular where I clicked on the line. If I click on this side and uh, try to uh, extend it out, sometimes the midpoint of the line, you want to be on the, the side of a, the line you want to extend to or trim to. Uh, that comes up and it will come up in uh, uh, other scenarios that you run into. Okay, so now we just want to trim this up. Again, I'm going to use my quick trim and go around and we're basically following the same, uh, same steps we took the last time. Uh, just on a little more complicated of a part. Alright, and then we have our uh, bend lines, so I'm going to just trim these up too so it looks nice and neat. Now as far as, um, oops, as far as dimensioning this, uh, a couple of things, so we'll add a new layer, we'll call it dimension, make it active, I'm going to change the color I'm drawing with. Okay, so as far as uh, dimensioning this, just Strictly using horizontal, uh, none of these lines really line up with the X or Y axis. So you can't really use a horizontal dimension for that because the horizontal dimension will be 
from this endpoint to this endpoint. So if you wanted to find out the actual uh, dimension of the length of these lines, what you'll use is dimension other distance. So now I can click from here to here. That tells me what that length is. Um, if just as an example, if we do dimension horizontal and we say from here to here, we should see that we get a different number. One is the dimension in X from this point to this point. The other is the dimension of the length of that actual line. So that's important to, to note. So we'll go dimension, other distance, and, and we'll work our way around the part, uh, dimensioning up uh, what we want to do here. Uh, pretty straightforward. We'll follow all the way around. Now, for this particular scenario, if we wanted to find out the distance from here to here, that one's a little trickier. If we click on other distance, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get another distance from the midpoint of this line or wherever we picked to the midpoint of this line um, or wherever we picked. So, something that you may or may not be aware of is we could do point on entity, 50%, and then we can do point perpendicular, we'll click on this point and then we'll click on that line and that will give us a 90 degree. We can do line join from here to there and then we can do a dimension other distance and we can grab from here to here. So this gives me a value of 1.082 and this one here gave me a value of 1.096. So again, uh, more uh, tips and tricks for dimensioning, but the process for this part is basically the same, where we work our way around the part. Uh, we used line sketch, and we also used line parallel in this example.